On June 12, 1927, Marconi went on to marry Maria Cristina Bezzi Scali, April 2, 1900 to July 15, 1994, the only daughter of Francesco Count Bezzi Scali. To do this, he had to be confirmed in the Catholic faith and became a devout member of the church. He was baptized Catholic, but had been brought up as a member of the Anglican Church. On June 12, 1927, Marconi married Maria Cristina in a civil service, with a religious ceremony performed on June 15. Marconi was 53 years old, and Maria Cristina was 26. They had one daughter, Maria Electra Elena Anna, born 1930, who married Prince Carlo Giovanelli. 1942 to 2016, in 1966. They later divorced. For unexplained reasons, Marconi left his entire fortune to his second wife and their only child, and nothing to the children of his first marriage. Marconi wanted to personally introduce in 1931 the first radio broadcast of a pope, Pius XI, and did announce at the microphone, with the help of God, who places so many mysterious forces of nature at man's disposal, I have been able to prepare this instrument, which will give to the faithful of the entire world the joy of listening to the voice of the Holy Father. Marconi joined the National Fascist Party in 1923. In 1930, Italian dictator Benito Mussolini appointed him president of the Royal Academy of Italy, which made Marconi a member of the Fascist Grand Council. Marconi was an apologist for the fascist ideology and actions, such as the Italian invasion of Ethiopia in the Second Italo-Abyssinian War. In his lecture, he stated, I reclaim the honor of being the first fascist in the field of radio telegraphy, the first who acknowledged the utility of joining the electric rays in a bundle, as Mussolini was the first in the political field who acknowledged the necessity of merging all the healthy energies of the country into a bundle for the greater greatness of Italy. In 2002, researcher Annalisa Capristo found documents in the archives of Rome which showed that during his time as the president of the Royal Academy of Italy, Marconi had marked by hand Jewish applicants' records with an E, wherein the Italian language word for Jew is ebrio. Not one Jew was allowed to join during Marconi's tenure as president from 1930. Three years before Adolf Hitler took power in Germany, and eight years before Benito Mussolini's race laws brought his regime's anti-Semitism into the open. Following publication of Capristo's article, The Exclusion of Jews from the Academy of Italy, published in the Israel Monthly Review, Historians were divided over whether the discrimination was the personal initiative of a scientist who considered Jews inferior, or whether it was the action of a man too weak to oppose the regime's edicts. A large collection of Marconi artifacts was held by the General Electric Company, PLC, GEC, of the United Kingdom, which later renamed itself Marconi PLC and Marconi Corporation PLC. In December 2004, the extensive Marconi collection held at the former Marconi Research Centre at Great Battle Kelmsford, Essex, UK, was donated to the nation by the company via the University of Oxford. This consisted of the BAFTA award-winning Marconi calling website, some 250-plus physical artifacts, and the massive ephemera collection of papers, books, patents, and many other items. The artifacts are now held by the Museum of the History of Science and the Ephemera Archives by the nearby Bodleian Library. Following three years' work at the Bodleian, an online catalogue to the Marconi Archives was released in November 2008.